I think so often when people think about the inner city, they just think about violence or they think about people wanting handouts and they forget about the children. So much attention is being brought to Africa and so many third world countries. Maybe right around the corner or right across the bridge here in Jacksonville are hurting children. I know so many kids, like the only time they eat is at school. They get breakfast, they get lunch, and for dinner, who knows what's going on. Parents in and out of the house for their lives constantly, just looking for kind of some assurance that, you know, things are gonna be okay when their life is so unstable. It's really only by God's grace that we're not in their shoes, that, you know, we have a home. They didn't choose to live here. They didn't choose to be born in this situation. They want success. They want to do great things. They just, they don't know how. When your eyes are open that these are real people that God made and created and that they have destinies and they have futures, well, it forces you to do something. The greatest way you show someone the love of Christ is by action, by being there, by uh, caring for them, by disciplining them, keeping them accountable. Our desire is to make them feel good about who they are. If not everywhere, they know that when they come here, these kids are loved. They know that they are. This is a faith-based organization, and it is based on our faith in our Savior, Jesus Christ. And my hope is that they would have a relationship with the Lord, and that they would come to know that He has created them for a great purpose, and, and that purpose is attainable, you know, with him. You know, regardless of what happens at home, that they're not alone and they're loved. You love somebody, you, you talk about breaking down social barriers, economic barriers, race barriers. It changes everything when you love on people. We had one student that went up four grade levels in one year on the standardized testing that we do in the math, reading, and writing. There is real change that is going on with students that we have each and every day. Some people can look at the inner city and they can think it's hopeless, like, what can we do? Maybe I can't change the entire community, but I can really impart into the life of this child who can then go and do the same thing and that's how the communities change one child at a time. You know, in the Bible, with Jesus and people said, can anything good come out of Nazareth? And maybe that's what people say about the inner city, can anything good come out of the inner city? And I hope that after seeing this, the children, you know, they can say, yes, lots of good can come out of the inner city. Regardless of the reputation of crime, violence, drugs, murder, that in the midst of all that darkness that there is light, and that light is in these children. If the people will see the children, they will see the light. They will see the hope. They will see the future.